How's it going, you pencil pushers? It's Nick fucking Daniels here, coming at you live yet again with another video. And uh, today we're talking about uh, something that happened a few months ago, but I thought it was pretty funny. And I just drove by the building, so this is uh, what's encouraging this topic today. So, uh, yeah, several months ago, um, uh, I'm trying to get out in the old IT industry, getting a name for myself and uh, putting out a couple resumes, and there was this one place that got back to me. Obviously, I can't say where, where, who, or whatever, but it was up in uh, the Halifax area. And they got back to me pretty quickly, and uh, I was like, you know, pretty stoked, actually. I was like, you know, this is, okay. And, uh, but this is more or less not necessarily for a job, uh, but maybe like the five-week work-term program that uh, the campus does. So, either way, I'm, I'm cool with whatever. So, if they give me either or, it's perfectly cool. Um, typically, that work term thing is unpaid, um, which is kind of easier because they can just be like, hey, we don't got to pay you, right? Everybody loves it. So, yeah, coming at you. And I go in this interview, okay? And uh, I get up here, drive up, takes about, I don't know, a little over an hour. Uh, and, I get up, and I get up to where I'm going. And I find the building, yada yada. I like, I sit in the car, I'm dressed up. I, you know, I got the blazer on, man, okay? I'm looking fucking sharp and I'm thinking it out, right? I'm thinking out my strat. And that's what you gotta do when you go into these interviews, right? You really gotta like, from like a personal opinion, you really just gotta like breathe, you know? You gotta take a minute and you really gotta think about it. Like, what am I going in here for? You know what I mean? Like, what am I looking for out of this interview? Like, what am I trying to accomplish? And so I'm doing that and I get in there, okay? And like, very nice looking building super fancy okay and anyway so I start talking to this person and I'm like hey like I'm here for an interview yada yada like like very quickly oh this woman brings me to her office and just gets a very very quick rundown of like hey this is your resume right I'm like yeah okay and it's like a very very quick thing like it wasn't even like you know here's the interview it was basically like we're gonna talk to you for like five minutes and then we're just gonna put you back out in the waiting room which she did which is fine okay so that was kind of like the screening process i didn't really get in yet i haven't done an interview with anybody yet uh, it was just kind of somebody that was just making sure i'm not like crazy apparently that's all fine no fucking problems okay nice walking game yeah nice walking game right um anyway so that goes down though i'm having a good time and uh, she's like, all right, we're going to bring you upstairs. There's like a little training session kind of thing, a little introductory. We're going to get you going through there, and you're going to fill out some questions. Okay? That's awesome. Let's do it. So I get upstairs, and there's this, uh, there's this, like, there's this big room, and it's got all these chairs and, like, papers on every desk. So obviously they're expecting a couple people. Okay? And there's like a projector in the front and it looks like they're gonna have like a straight up like slideshow happening like the old powerpoint okay the old hit the old f5 and just rip it up and i'm not lying to you i was getting some bad feelings like that's typically not an interview kind of thing okay like i'm here for an interview to fix your computers i'm not here for an interview for whatever is going on there and sure enough there's a woman sitting in there okay at the desks with me my apologies, I had to yawn. Uh, so it's only her and I. And she like literally looks over and was like, just sort of going off on how this wasn't for her. I was like, okay, like, you know, I'm not following you, but like, you know, what's going on? And apparently it's like an insurance company or something. I don't know. And she's like, that's not really my background. It's kind of what I get out of it. And I was like, okay, like that's fair. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm IT, like computers. And she's like, and I started reading the questionnaire because there's like a little questionnaire thing, like a generic one, uh, name of time, something like this. How do you feel about this? And it was pretty much all in that direction, unfortunately, which is really shitty. Um, so that woman actually got up and left without even doing the presentation. And I was like, all right, this is gonna be awkward because like I don't, I don't know how to react, like. Uh, I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? Like, there's a right and a wrong in the situation. I don't want to do the wrong. Like, I don't want to burn a bridge because, like, maybe this is exactly what I wanted it to be. But it doesn't sound like it. So, I literally, like, had somebody from, like, the hallway. They had walked in, and I just, like, asked them. I just, like, shot right down. I just went right to the point. And I was like, what are we doing here? Like, what is this? You know? Like, I'm here for an interview. 
and she's like, oh yeah, like this is like the hiring process, uh, you know, looking for, do some training, gonna, you know, again for the insurance and whatever, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm actually here for IT. Like, I have an IT resume, it's all IT, and I'm like, what's going on with that? That's what I want to know. And uh, unfortunately, um, and God love her, but I think she was just as confused as I was. And I told her, I was like, yeah, like, I think there was some miscommunication going on here. Because I'm like, the woman that was just here was in the same boat. And I told her that situation, but this woman was like, basically mouthing off and getting pissed because like, you know, this is apparently how they get people or something. And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you have to accept the fucking job for them to get you. So if you don't say yes, it's not like they're just like, ha, we got you. Uh, so yeah, so I told her that. Super understanding. Sorry for yawning. Um, yeah, super understanding. And then I literally just like took my papers and left. Like not like the questionnaire, but like I, I got like a quarter way done the questionnaire and I just kind of rage quit that one on my own accord. But uh, nah, but I mean like I literally just like abruptly stood up and left because like there was just nothing happening. Like that just was not, uh, that was not a good vibe. Like it was weird. Um, honestly, it was probably one of like the weirdest interviews I've ever had. Because of like, of just how like, I think, I think honestly what happened is I think they were just kind of taking any resume that had come in the door. And even if they had looked at it or not, they were just kind of like, oh, you know, he'll be a good fit. But it's like, that's not really the point. It's like, you need to get somebody who's gonna be a good fit for that company. And where you're kind of dealing in one thing, but if you're taking in people that aren't really into that area of expertise, uh, yeah, of course, there's can, there can be some training done, uh, but you would typically want someone with a background, I would think, in, the, in that field. Um, you know, whether it be sales or HR or whatever, you know, you're not gonna take someone in HR who's, you know, maybe who's a bartender you know, for experience, like, you, you know, that's just, I know it's a, not necessarily the best example, but I mean, it kind of, it kind of does, it does it justice, I think, but either way, like I said, uh, just out of respect there, obviously I'm not going to name who that interview was with. It was, a, it was a few months ago. Um, so I don't remember all the little details, but, uh, I had driven just by the building and I was like, Oh, Hey, like, the, you know, that was it. And uh, then I obviously got the camera going. I was like, ah, let's make a little video. But uh, yeah, like I, I think it was a really good company. It seemed ex extremely professional. But I think in just that one manner of hiring, I think they kind of, I don't know. I think they were kind of shoot themselves in the foot a little bit there because of just like their process just was a little bit weird in that sense. Like I don't think they were really taking the time to evaluate the, the potentials, right? Like the potential candidates. I think they were just kind of jumping into it and saying like, okay, here's like Billy Bob. I don't know. You put a resume in. Let's kind of, let's take a look at him and hire him. And unfortunately, I don't think that's the way it needs to be done. But uh, that's just me. I'm not a hiring manager, and I wouldn't really know. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, though, everybody. Appreciate the views on the video um, and on the videos. And uh, I don't know. Talk to you later, I guess. Cheers. All right, hold on. All right, I didn't want to, like, turn the camera off while I was, like, fucking mid. I was, like, thigh deep into a turn. All right, now we'll see you later. Peace. How you doing?